Hi, Kushbu from Seagull Mantras. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you a list of some fun games that we keep playing uh, often, mostly during the bedtime when we don't have anything else around. So these are specially, uh, I've jotted down a list, whatever I could recall because we've been practicing this when my child was around three years of age when he you know, started talking and developed a good amount of language. So from then, that that period onwards we started and we are still doing it only the level and new things keep coming in and the level keeps advancing so i've tried to jot down a few so that i don't uh, forget so uh, starting with the first one the first one is in this game what you have to do is you have to tell your child any number and give the instructions beforehand we played mostly during the bedtime so there is no scope of the child running away and i uh, clearly tell him that everything is over now now it is just some games time and then we'll finish and then we'll, we are off to sleep so you tell him that uh, mama papa will tell you a number and you have to say anything that comes to your mind related to that number so say suppose I say um, like yesterday only we were playing this game and I told him and I said number five I was expecting he would say papa's birthday because my husband's birthday falls on the date fifth so uh, but he came up saying sense organs which was like I was really surprised looking at his level it uh, you know in that moment sometimes it doesn't click to us also but you never know what your child might come up with then I said two and he was like eyes ears and so many things one sun eight octopus so uh, that way you can go on doing then uh, you can do the same thing with instead of with numbers you can say that with alphabets anything that comes to your mind when I say any alphabet so suppose I say A and what comes to your mind aeroplane but give a instruction beforehand that it should be something living or non-living like depends on what level your child is at what all he knows what concepts you are working on so like say this alphabets um, one thing only you uh, may start with alphabet and a word related to that or any any word that comes to your mind suppose he says aeroplane now he's at a level where he only can uh, say the name but now if he knows so aeroplane flies where it flies and you can continue from there three three questions or three sentences related to that we'll talk and then we'll move to the next uh, alphabet like that then uh, <clears throat> next one is you can always ask rhyming words synonyms and tonyms because this always uh, you don't always need a paper and a pen for this so whatever level your child is at based on his level you can ask him rhyming words uh, synonyms and tonyms and like that now new word with ending letter so suppose i say uh, telephone now telephone ends with let the child figure out what is the last letter in it because he now knows the spellings and he can very well uh, do that let him figure out the last letter so it ends with e so child's turn he has to say a word with e suppose he says egg then you get g you have to say g say g for girl girl ends with l then he has to say lion so and then it goes on okay so this is the next one this is very interesting so if i ask my child to make a sentence with the word i give him he would never do like there was a time when he would never do now he does then if you give two words and use the two words to form a sentence he wouldn't do but when i started with this i'm giving you three or four words and you build a story around that he happily did so I'll give you an example, the story that we made for the first time. I gave him these three words, pigeon, um, pigeon the other, water and happy. And I was thinking ki, uh, he will relate it with the story of thirsty crow and he'll say the pigeon was very thirsty. She was looking for water. She found water, drank it and she became very happy. But no, he came with a different version. One day there was a pigeon. The pigeon's name was so and so she was sitting on the water tanker the water tanker in my society she was sitting on the water tanker 
and she got hurt now she got hurt so sitting on the water tanker only she went to the hospital in the hospital pigeon's mother came and she told the doctor to give her medicines when she got medicines she became happy so story finished <laughs> so that ways and then you know you can extend it further to do a more discussion on that but this is fun you know depending on around what uh, particular thing you want the child to build a story you can keep giving words related to that so that ways then uh, we do a lot of this one also language translation we like my child was using only english earlier but from last 6 uh, or 8 months around he is uh, getting hold on with hindi as well so we do a lot of translation uh, talking and games so suppose numbers we started with numbers because he knew hindi numbers up to 100 so we started with numbers then uh, colors rainbow colors mama will say it in english and you have to say it in hindi or rather instead uh, doing it directly like like every time i say in english and you say in hindi i said let's play a game randomly mama ne agar english mein bola hai to aap uska hindi mein batao mama ne hindi mein bola hai to aap english mein batao and you can also ask me so we can do it in turns so we do this so we started with one words numbers colors shapes and then we move to the like objects nouns then phrases uh, let's go chalte hain par kyu but why so like that then the same things you can make the child write also later whenever you have the paper and pencil around but these are the oral uh, games that you can play then um, words numbers yeah then you can also do question time so suppose your child is at a level where you are working on the wh questions so you can pick up any particular question during your during bed time and uh, talk start talking on that and tell the child now this is questions time mama will ask one question you have to ask one question but we are doing only and only uh, what questions or suppose if you are teaching calendar time time of the day and all so you can uh, come to when questions also so based on whatever you are doing but you can have a dedicated question time um, before sleep then uh, like when i was working on um, teaching him all the relations i used to ask him who is your chachi who is your mommy only who 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 questions and what is their name so like that to ek tarah se revision bhi ho jata hai and the concept gets little strong ki ye question ka mujhe ye hi answer karna hai wo sara jo confusion hota hai wh ke beech mein that also uh, is worked upon here then uh, yeah when doing relations i even asked him some uh, question some complex questions like who is dadu's wife so he has to tell me the name dadi ka naam batana hai and then i would ask him and who is dadi's wife to confuse him a little so this has been taught earlier so now he is able to answer dadi doesn't have a wife dadi has a husband and dadi's husband is dadu so this is taught earlier but during bed time just a revision because you're working on the relations and you have that in your mind ki abhi hum baatein karenge to we have to talk around this topic so all these things you can take up there then um, Hmm. then uh, uh, riddles you can play like you can uh, say a two three sentences and tell the child to guess and tell you what it could be like i am a flower i'm pink in color i grow in um, water so the child has to guess lotus but these will be where he knows at least little bit about those things you can't we can't come up with something which is absolutely absolutely new for the child so anything but to the child's level so name of flower animals and uh, you can also make the sounds to give them some hints then uh, also some preposition questions like i would ask him what is um lying on the gray table what has mama kept under the bed what is inside 
or what is right at the bottom of the door so like that preposition questions which you know being on the bed only he can just look around and answer he doesn't have to go anywhere but just to make those concepts a little strong we can play them then uh, yeah then uh, you can have a collection of pictures on your phone some pictures real pictures families friends and you can download some from google and do a lot of um, talking what do you think um, this girl is feeling so you can work on emotions oh what do you think she's thinking so suppose if it is a sequence so like so suppose uh, i have a picture of uh, me and my husband at the railway station we are standing and waiting for the train and then the next picture where the train is coming so maybe in the first picture you can ask who is in this picture what are they doing what do you think they are waiting for and then in the next picture what do you think mama is thinking what is mama thinking in this picture can you guess so that thinking ability and all so this is just an example you can you know have pictures based on what uh, on which your child has an interest take out pictures of birds animals cartoon characters some pictures from their favorite stories and uh, build a conversation and language around that then uh, yeah tell me a word so this is also a game tell me a word which has five letters and it starts with this and ends with this tell me a word which has uh vowel a two times in it tell me a word which um has a and e the two vowels in it and it starts with so and so letter so anything that you have in your mind and if the child is not able to answer hame turan se answer nahi batana then you start giving hints acha okay let me give you a hint it is the name of some animal that animal is very big in size and then it is green color that you can go on adding um, or go on giving more and more hints but don't uh, tell the answer right away let the child think 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 hints ke sath jitna help karna hum kare but we should never give the answer because that thinking ability is gone then so let the child come up with the answer then um, yeah then tell me 2 3 5 whatever number of items you want to ask again based on the level of the child tell me any two items that you see or use in the washroom tell me any three items that are in the kitchen that mama uses in the kitchen tell me any two things that only girls use tell me any two things that only boys use and like that pick any category like things tell me any three names of vegetables tell me any um names of two cars of falana falana brand so uh, like that then uh, very funny but it was total fun when we did this one uh songs my child has never been interested in any bollywood songs we rarely play them at home so he's always into that instrumentals and bhajans and mantras and all so i don't know how but uh, i guess there was some forward on my phone he play, he clicked on that and wahan se he went to the govinda ka that collection of govinda remix songs to usme wo wala gana aa gaya main to raste se ja raha tha main to pehle puri ga raha tha so i intentionally let him uh, you know listen to the song first few lines then i explained him the meaning mai to raste se ja raha tha did you understand what does it mean no i don't then i explained him then i told him the english of that so that is also a fun so if any of your children they are you know into music they like songs you can pick this up like one song every day hum maze karenge or maybe a few lines of that uh, favorite song every day and stretch it up to one week or so then uh, yeah you can ask odd one out you name three items and tell your child isme se odd wala kaun sa hai which belongs to a different category aap batao so suppose you say rose you say lily and then you say um, 
anything that you say banyan so like rose is a flower lily is a flower but banyan is a tree to jo bhi aapke bacche ko pata hai us hisab se you can ask questions but odd one out is one of the games which we can play then you can crack jokes and if at all my child asks asks me for a screen time uh, during bed i use it to uh, train him on a certain things like i taught him how to use google how to use the browser how to uh, go into whatsapp uh, specific chat windows how to read the message how to reply to a particular message how to respond with an audio message how to respond on a text message capital kaise karte hain small kaise karte hain so i had to tell him only a few things baki usne khud explore kar liya to now he is an expert on using phones but productively and he knows that he can't touch mama's phone without mama's permission so there's a specific time to it but you know it needs to be um, controlled and regulated and taught in that way so if at all you want phone time it is for these many minutes which you will get in bits and pieces in the entire day itna karu cheeze to milega jo jo mama ne schedule mein likha hai to aapko phone milega या फिर बेड टाइम पे सिर्फ पाँच मिनट के लिए या दस मिनट के लिए मिलेगा मम्मा आपको कोई चीज़ सिखाएगी फिर आप उसकी प्रैक्टिस करना और उसके बाद आपको पाँच मिनट कोई देखना है वीडियो तो आप देख सकते हो सो दैट वाज अबाउट स्क्रीन टाइम एंड लेट द चाइल्ड टेक योर ओरल टेस्ट या दिस इज आल्सो फन सो एवरी टाइम इफ यू इनिशिएट अ गेम इट गेट्स लिटल यू नो बच्चे को लगने लगता है कि माई पेरेंट इज बींग वेरी बॉसी विथ मी तो अलाउ द चाइल्ड टू कम अपथ अ गेम जैसे चार पाँच दिन आपने खेला मे बी आफ्टर फ्यू डेज यू कैन आज खेल विच गेम यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले टूडे और यू वॉन्ट टू टेक माई टेस्ट सी बट वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी पेपर एंड पेंसिल सो यू कैन आस्क मी एनी नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू वॉन्ट और यू कैन आस्क मी इन अ प्ले वे सो वी कैन डू दैट सो लेट द चाइल्ड कम अप विथ अ गेम लेट लेट हिम यू नो find out ways of interacting with you in a play way so yeah and uh, then there is uh, one very interesting game i don't remember hum bachpan mein kya bolte the shayad pinky pinky what color ya tippy tippy top aisa kuch bolte the but we started with this tippy tippy top so we do with anything that comes uh, comes to our mind so if i'll say tippy tippy top then my child will say what do you want See, I want you to name a body part. Then you will say a body part. Then he will say, "Tippy tippy top." What do you want? I want, I want, I want, I want color black. Oh, what is black in this room? Particularly in this room. So you name that. Okay. So black clock. Tippy tippy top. What do you want? So and then it goes on. So this is one game. Then um, yeah. Um, a lot of pretend calls like you can uh, suppose i give him a situation that your doll your doll's house has caught fire now you are the neighbor okay you don't stay with her you are the neighbor what will you do so you get a chance to you know teach new things or your doll your doll is um, uh, fallen from the bed and she's got bad head injury what to do as a neighbor or as a roommate or you know however in the house neighbors relative friends but if you come to know now what will you do okay so i will call now you pretend calling the hospital they send an ambulance then how your conversation should be so um, we do a lot of that also so pretend calls calling the ambulance uh, the house has got fire somebody's fallen say calling the police station your courier is not delivered and you are discussing it's better that you you know uh, call customer care number kaise check karte hain my phone is suddenly stopped working so i take papa's phone and i need to call the customer care number so all these things anything that you know comes to your mind where you can involve your child based on his level of uh, understanding his level of language or the level you target to build uh, build on un sab cheezon का एक बेस बना के यू कैन डू एनी एनी गेम्स देन देर वॉज दिस गेम इन मूवी कुछ कुछ होता है द गर्ल दैट स्मॉल गर्ल अंजलि शी प्लेज विथ हर डैड शाहरुख खान 
you say a word related to that word anything that comes to your mind the other person he has to say that word so say suppose i say sleeping bed bed pillow pillow soft soft poodle poodle is the doll's name so uh, like that then um, talk about that word or uh, rhyme so you say any word you have to give the instructions beforehand so you tell the child mama will say any word and you have to um, tell me any rhyme or sing any song in which that word comes ya fir us word se aapko koi ek sentence banana hai you have to talk about that tell me anything about that uh, particular word so suppose aapne bola um, apple ab apple se kuch bhi bolo farm farm se ya to kuch bol ke batao then you decide whether you want him to talk or sing a rhyme or a song or whatever hindi words can also come into picture here then there's this very interesting game memory memory game humne bachpan mein bahut khela hai and related to this memory game there um, so let me tell you this one first then there are little variations so in memory game what you have to do is you uh, pick uh, any category you decide that category beforehand so suppose you have picked the names of the cars to aap jaise teen participants ho you your husband or wife and then the child so three of you play together uh, whoever starts will say the first um, kisi bhi car ka naam ya vehicles ka naam suppose so bus so bus then the other person will repeat this one bus and add his own word car then third person will say bus car truck then bus car truck jeep now if i miss any word bus car jeep i missed on truck so i'm out of the game so this is also a very good game for thinking and building memory skills you can pick any category any like colors names of the soaps names of the vehicles family members names of the people you know so any any category then um, memory game ho gaya then um, yeah asking multiple questions related on one thing is also which we have recently started so suppose tell me a word with a like you uh, give multiple uh, you combine the multiple questions and tell him tell me a word with a it is something that you eat you tell me one thing about it and uh, or tell me something which starts with um yeah it starts with t you tell me two sentences about it and it should be something which is living because i'm teaching him living and non living so i just add that thing to it so however you want to make it complex then um uh, riddles we can always play a lot of riddles so again Uh, you can build your questions like i am a color i am a combination of black and white you often see me when you look up in the rainy season so gray gray in the clouds but then make riddles on any things you can make them on animals and make them on flowers anything anything that comes to your mind so this is one then uh, uh then there's a game with numbers which has a lots of variations and i'm sure many of you would be already uh, playing it with your kids some sabne bachpan mein bahut khela hai so uh it starts like you say a number the child has to say the next number in the other language suppose aapne english mein one bola do 3 4 5 6 so alternate hindi english hindi english hindi english then you can have buzz at skip counting by 2 5 ya multiplication aata hai bacche ko to multiples pe aap you have to say buzz on every multiple of 2 uh, or every multiple of 5 so 1 2 3 4 buzz 6 7 8 9 buzz so we do it at skip counting because my child is still at the level where he doesn't know multiplication so he chose to do it with skip counting then um uh alternate numbers ye wala and then there is seven up seven up maine usko sikhaya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 pe you have to say seven up and say when we are lying down on the bed he he lies down in the middle so if you say seven up putting your hand towards mama 
mama has to start from one again so 1 2 3 papa will say 3 4 5 6 to jiske bhi upar seven up aayega if you say seven up towards the uh, person on your right or like this taraf so he has to start from one or uh, if you go wrong then you are out <clears throat> so this is fun with numbers iske bahut sare variations hain i'm sure uh, you would know this so this is uh, one of those games with numbers then uh, yeah and then one game we played on uh, talking about the talking about people so members in your family relatives or anyone whom the child knows well so see, you just take the name and let the child talk about him so it could be the grandparents parents siblings friends anybody aap sirf naam lo and let the child talk about him and you give kitne sentences bolne hai you have to just say one sentence about that person or two sentences three sentences or jitna aapko bolna hai so uh, that you decide and uh, isme humne ek cheez aur add ki thi whatever that person's name is use my phone go on google and find out the meaning of that person's name so this way he tried to you know explore his own uh, names meaning and learn that so aise kabhi randomly bolo to kabhi nahi karenge bachche lekin this way he did he tried to find out the name of his own meaning of his own name then uh, we do a lot of sequencing questions also aaj din mein kya piya tha ya kya khaya tha koi bhi koi bhi ek cheez from the entire uh, day's routine you pick up and ask him suppose like i am giving you an example aaj kya piya tha charge can you tell me three steps how you got charge okay so i asked mama for charge she opened the packet and uh, she took the packet from fridge and she poured it in the glass so this is three steps now could you get it in three steps no i could not acha then what mama did no then she added some masala then she gave it to me then i drank it okay can you now wrap it up in three uh, three steps only okay i asked for charge mama gave i drank it and finished it so uh, that ways they would need a little bit support some prompt some help but it comes so how you can you know elaborate something and how you can summarize something and uh, sequence also so all that comes through this game then uh <clears throat> uh turn by turn ho gaya ha then um, ye recently humne start kiya hai he has been watching uh, or playing this game a lot these days assassin's creed so based on that he does a lot of pretend play talking and everything now every day before uh, bed time he wants me to become a boat and he wants to sit over me and you know uh, sail his boat and do all sorts of things so i trapped him in his own interest so whatever the interest the child is showing let's trap them there only and work on our goals so i started asking him questions he said mama boat bano and i was like boat kya hota hai mujhe pata hi nahi hai mama boat that comes in assassin's creed i really don't know what is boat you have to explain me mama it is of oval shape from top oh okay Mm-hmm. I don't know. I only know a yoga pose called boat pose. Can you do that for me? Okay, you teach me. So you make them do the boat pose. Then, uh, do you have any toy boat? Can you show me, or can you just tell me the color or where you keep them? Yes, I have three boats. Acha, what is the material of the green one? Ah, uh, that is a rubber boat. Hmm. And what about that brown one? That's a wooden boat. Then what about that one? acha that's a plastic boat it's a shape sorter also and like that so a lot of talking and then you know sath hi sath aap chaho to uske liye boat matlab main uske liye boat ban gayi and he could play also but with a lot of talking involved otherwise it just you know ends up uh, with a lot of fights and arguments and complete mess then uh, you can do a lot of brain games with hand gestures um I'll show you one or two, and maybe we can, or sometime I can make a video on that also and share. So one is this one, alternate hands. हमे लेना है. एक में बनाना है victory sign और एक में wow. So you do this alternately. We wow. We wow. 
V5, 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 so like that. So this is one. I say, बहुत बहुत सारे होते हैं. I'll uh, I'll see if I can make a video on that sometime and uh, share with you. So this is brain games. I guess शायद जितने मैंने note down किए थे उतने बता दिए हैं. हाँ एक रह गया. Uh, you can uh, frame questions in such a way so that whatever concepts uh, you are working on, again based on the child's uh, class level, understanding level, language level. So uh, when I was teaching him states of matter, again at his level because he's still um, now he's just gone to grade one. So but he had this water cycle as a presentation to give when he was in senior kg, in junior kg. So. Um, I taught him states of matter using uh, water as an example, but फिर मैंने सारी चीजों का जितनी घर में दिखती है I kept on telling him. So we did a question on this also. So this is just an idea कि हम जो भी object या चीज का नाम बोल रहे हैं you have to tell me uh, what is its state, it, whether it is a liquid or solid or in the gaseous form. So आप science, maths, you can do some addition, subtraction, multiplication. इससे याद आया लाइक ही इज स्टिल माय चाइल्ड इज स्टिल नॉट एट अ लेवल वेयर ही वुड नो मल्टीप्लिकेशन सो आई डू स्किप काउंटिंग क्वेश्चंस विद हिम एडिशन वगैरह कर लिया बहुत सो नाउ वी डू स्किप काउंटिंग और आई आस्क हिम रैंडमली मामा जो नंबर बोलेगी वो ऑड है कि इवन है आपको बताना है और स्किप uh, काउंटिंग का हमने एक लेवल आगे भी ऐसे भी बढ़ाया कि ए इज फॉर द नंबर्स व्हिच कम इन स्किप काउंटिंग बाय 2 बी इज फॉर द नंबर्स व्हिच कम इन स्किप काउंटिंग बाय 5 एंड सी इज फॉर 10 so mama will say a number and you have to tell me whether it is a b or c ye thoda next level tha pehle to sirf mama number bolegi aapko batana hai it is a skip counting by 2 or or skip counting by 5 or skip counting by 10 or none none bhi aapko ek add karna hai to wo a b c teeno mein nahi fall karega you if you want you can add d also or to begin with you can have just a and b keval do numbers lo ya aap sirf ye le lo ki hum jo number bol rahe hain wo skip counting by 2 mein aata hai ki nahi aata hai yes or no so uh, that ways so uh, these are a lot of ways in which you can build a play around or make, you can make language building fun actually so language building talking time questions time a lot of things get uh, covered up in this and uh, the child goes to sleep peacefully enjoys thoroughly before his bedtime and sleeps happily so that's all for now maybe i'll uh, plan and come up with a video soon on the brain games which i just said have a great day thank you